what in the world <laughs> happened? But it's like it's hollowed out in the middle. So that's a little strange. So now there's a hole in the middle of my liner. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got Friday favorites and fooies for you today. And again, I have a lot of brown this week. So I don't know, I'm just really feeling like the brown lips and cool toned eye looks. So that's totally what I was going for this week. So I've got a lot of cool toned sort of shadows and just a lot of brown kind of lip colors. So those are my favorites. So let's get into it. On my eyes this week, I was grabbing for my Makeup Geek shadows a lot and I have quite a few of them now in this little thing. This is a Shea Moisture sort of a palette. I got this from Target, I believe. So I have a smaller one and then I have this big old one that I keep, you know, quite a few of my like neutral sort of Makeup Geek shadows. So I was really grabbing for quite a few of these over here, like these two, this one, this one. Let me get these out where you can actually like see what in the world they are. So vintage, this one is kind of like a, I don't know, purpley wine sort of a color. It is beautiful. I love that one. Then this one is Unexpected. This one's kind of like, I have this one in my crease today. It's kind of like a, I don't know, like a light taupey purple sort of a shade. It's really beautiful. So there are those two. These, I mean, you could just use those two by themselves and you've got an eye look right there. So those are gorgeous. I have this one on my lower lash line. This is Prom Night. Is this one still around? I know that she's discontinued some of her shadows. Hopefully Prom Night's still around because I love Prom Night. This one is Concrete Jungle. I do have this one in my crease as well. This one's kind of just a very sort of purpley gray. So I don't know, I was just feeling those like gray sort of colors but that were more on the like purpley side. I think, and I think they look really fun with a brown lip. Oh my gosh, that's just like the perfect gray because it's not a super blue gray, it's more of like a purpley gray. You know what I mean? Isn't that gorgeous? A very taupey purpley gray. And then this kind of purpley color is Drama Queen, which is just a gorgeous, like, I don't know, deep purple. Amazing. I love Makeup Geek shadows. Sometimes I forget about them, but every time I bust them back out and wear them, I love them. They blend like a dream. They work together so nicely. They wear really well throughout the day. She has a bajillion colors to choose from. Just gorgeous. And then on my lids, I busted out these two shadows this week, which these are two great kind of one shadow look sort of shadows, if that makes sense. But basically they're just one of those, you can grab them and then just maybe get a blending color for your crease or just use these and blend them up and you'd be good to go. Especially this one. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow in Bronze Taupe. I've talked about this a lot on my channel. I have a Get Ready With Me using just this shadow. This is just, I mean, incredible. It is the most gorgeous, just bronzy taupe. I mean, the name fits it exactly. It is beautiful. It has like some depth to it and also it has some dimension. So if you put it on your lid and then you blend it up, you look like you did a lot more with your eye look versus just wearing one shadow. It looks like you really put a lot of effort in. It's just amazing. I love it so much. The texture is incredible. And then this is the Ulta Color Pure Eyeshadow Pigment and this is in Sepia. Sepia? I say Sepia. I don't know what it actually is, but this is what I have on my lid today. This one is way more silvery. I mean, whoa, that's pretty silvery. Yeah, way more silver than Bronze Taupe, but same kind of idea, like same sort of color family where it's just a one shadow sort of a look to it, but it just, I don't know, it doesn't have the depth that Bronze Taupe does, so it's not as deep, so it's kind of more of a statement lid, I would say, just because it, it ends up looking more silvery, especially on your lid. But it's beautiful, I love it. I really like these pigments, I forget about them, but they're really, really great. So I need to bust them out more often because I really do love them. For blush this week, I kept grabbing for this one and this is just the most beautiful, 
dimensional, glowy sort of a blush, but it does have some color to it. This is the Laura Geller Blush and Brighten in Pink Grapefruit. It's so pretty because it has that glow to it. I'm not wearing a highlight. I just have this on. It has that glow to it, but it has quite a bit of color to it also. So it's kind of like a warm sort of a nude. So it has some like nude in it. It has some peach in it. It has some terracotta tones in it some glowy amazingness in it. It's just beautiful. So you can see there, I mean, you can really apply it lighter to make it more just sort of wearable, go with everything, or you can pile on more. So, I mean, I had a lot going on with my makeup today. Once again, I just, I don't know, I've been into a lot of makeup recently. So um, I kind of applied it a little bit lighter today, but you can apply more and get more pigment and more like a bam with it but it is just glowy and beautiful and blends into the skin beautifully it looks pretty in the packaging yeah I love this for lips this week I'll start with the kind of nudie color that I was loving this is the Maybelline vivid matte liquid in nude flush so I have nude thrill and I got that one first and I really like that one it's a very kind of like warm toned nude it's really beautiful it's just like a gorgeous perfect nude um, but then I kept hearing about this one, so I got it, and I love this one too. This one's kind of more of a pinky sort of nude. I mean, it's really, it's borderline really just a pink, but it's kind of right in between. You could either say it's a pinky nude or a nudie pink. I don't know, but it's just a beautiful neutral sort of color. It looks really gorgeous on the lips. I do like these. The scent is strong. I don't really like that. They do take a long time to set and they don't really get super matte, but I think they're pretty comfortable on the lips. I find them to be pretty long wearing. So I do actually like them. I wouldn't want every single color, but I like the ones that I have and I'm glad that I got this one. Just a really pretty pinky nude, nudie pink, whatever you wanna call it. So the first brown lip combo that I was loving this week is the Sephora Rouge Gel Lip Liner in Molasses and the Lancome Color Design Lipstick in Vintage Rose. Did I mention this last week? I know I mentioned one of these. I think I did mention this color, but anyway, molasses is just a gorgeous brown color. I did notice something really weird about this liner. It now has a hole in the middle of it, like a hole. Isn't that weird? I don't know what in the world <laughs> happened, but it's like it's hollowed out in the middle. So that's a little strange. So now there's a hole in the middle of my liner but I like the color of it, it's really pretty brown. And Vintage Rose is just a gorgeous, oh my gosh, I love this so much. It's a nude, but I don't know, it's kind of like a brownie nude. So when you mix it with a brown liner like Molasses, it just makes the most gorgeous, kind of cool toned, brown nude sort of lip. It is amazing. I love these together. I do have a picture on Instagram wearing both of these together so you can see kind of how they pair, but they're gorgeous. And I really like these lipsticks. Like they're really comfortable on the lips and they don't feel drying, but then they kind of set down a little bit and they stick around for a long time. So the more that I'm wearing these lipsticks, the more that I love them. And I really haven't heard a ton about them. The color design lipsticks. I really like the formula a lot. But this color is just the most beautiful nude. Mix it with a brown liner. It becomes even more amazing. And then what I have on my lips right now is the Ofra Liquid Lipstick in Brooklyn. This is the most amazing brown liquid lipstick. I'm obsessed with this so much. I love it. It was Laura and Mrs. Lola Lynn. She wore this in a video and then I think she also put some pictures on her Instagram wearing this. And this brown lipstick just made her blue eyes pop so much. So she's the reason that I got this. And I bought it like right after I saw her wearing it. And I've worn it off and on and I loved it every time, but I just kept forgetting to include it in Friday Favorites. So I busted it out again this week, loved it just as much. It is the most just incredible brown liquid lipstick. I love it so much. It does do the line thing. I mean, just darker liquid lipsticks, they do that. I don't know how to really prevent it. I use a liner and try to kind of put some liner in the middle part to kind of help with that, but it still kind of does it. But this one's kind of like a 
warm toned dark brown. I think that's why I really love it. And it's just a statement kind of grungy sort of lip. That's just really what I love about it. And these smell really good. They don't just smell like vanilla, they smell like real vanilla extract that you would cook with, like the real stuff. That's what it smells like. Oh my gosh, I just, I love the scent of these so much. So the scent is amazing. I love the formula of them. This color is incredible. It's just such a beautiful brown. It's a statement lip for sure. Does a little bit of the line because it's a dark liquid lipstick but I still love it. And I didn't have any fooies this week, just all things that I was loving. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, and let me know down below what you were loving this week or maybe not so much loving. Let me know your weekend plans or any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!